So yeah, I've been living in Toronto for the past year now and I've learned a lot. Even though there's a lot of complaints about how expensive it is to live in Toronto, it has molded me into the person I am today. I'll always love Toronto because of all the new challenges. I get to meet new like-minded people from all different backgrounds, I became more of an outgoing person, and since I've lived alone, I've also learned how to become more responsible and independent. Now with that being said, in this video, we're gonna take a look at a week in my life to show you an insight, and just to see how much money I spend during that week specifically especially since I'm now driving a car which most people highly recommend you should not do in such a busy city like Toronto this should be interesting it's Monday Woo! since the last week I felt like I've been in this creative rut where I haven't been filming I've felt like demotivated all that stuff so as I was about to head to the gym I thought why not make an updated how much I spend in a week you know just to document to see like the differences since the last five months wait quick side note last night when I was sleeping I knew I heard this loud thumping sound I thought it was my neighbors or it was a dream but guess what all my freaking nano leaf panels fell off I don't know man this is like the fourth time I'm fixing these nano leaf panels nano leaf if you're watching this we need stronger adhesives I'm just actually happy the paint didn't actually rip out of all these stuff but now I have some work to do when I get back from the gym I have to put these back up because it's not looking too good right now I'm not gonna cheat I'm not gonna go out my way to spend less money or more money it's literally whatever happens in this week in my life and how I spend my money it's early I haven't had breakfast but first order of the day let's hit the gym After every gym session, I always try to get my protein shakes in. It's free, it's a good source of protein. And of course, I had to fix up this nano leaf thing that kept falling. It took me a little minute, but we did get it to work. Thank God. All right, guys, so I just finished basically my morning routine. It's currently 10 a.m. Just came back from the gym, showered, fixed my nano leaf panels over there. It took a long time, probably like 10 minutes to fix because I had to remember what the pattern was. I ended up making a different pattern that doesn't even look good, but at least it's up. Hopefully it doesn't fall down again. On today's agenda, it's nothing too serious. It's more of a like get back into the rhythm. So I have to do like a lot of emailing right now. Later on in the afternoon, I have to head out because I need to grab groceries. So let's get to it. After working all these hard hours, guess what? Your boy got tired. And guess who has a coffee maker? Yes, I decided to make me a coffee with my Keurig for the free, of course. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have a coffee maker, I don't know what you're doing. Zero dollars spent so far. So I'm kind of like crammed right now. It's past lunchtime. I think I have to head out soon to grab some food. Just made coffee though. But the issue I'm having is I have a deadline for content I need to submit to Adobe, right? And if it's past 4 p.m., I might like get late penalty, which is like decrease my pay or commission for the work that I'm doing. As you guys can see right here, so I know I'm starving, but it's crunch time. Well, miss, I guess I'll be on my way now. You just give me a- 4.08 p.m., finally exporting the last video. It's been a hectic day. I have no food in my system. But guess what? On the bright side, I've spent zero dollars and zero cents. But you already know, as soon as I step foot outside the door, it's like money just automatically leaves my pockets. Finally outside, it's 6.26 p.m. right now. I know you're probably saying, Siobhan, where's the Tesla? The Tesla, it needs some fixing, all right? So it's in the shop right now. Ooh, it's kind of like tightening me up. We're in the EQS SUV right now. This car is insane just look at it guys holy the steering wheel is nuts the lighting is crazy the hyper screen mad it's literally a full screen like i could get massage while i'm driving these are all the ambient lighting modes you could play around with this green though jungle green fire uh, but anyways i have to head over to test life right now because they're waiting on me and 
time is running out, so let's go. Oh, it's totally different from my Tesla. So finally I made it to test life here in Vaughn. My car had a dent in it, so they had to fix it and then rewrap the car. Well, only just a little section of the car, I should say. I was supposed to pick it up today, but instead I dropped off an interior lighting kit for them to install for me. So I would need to come out here again, probably in a couple days or so to pick that up. Since daylight saving is out here going crazy, all that's left for me to do for the rest of the day is to go grocery shopping. My total spending for today was $184.15 and that was just all on groceries and everything here could last me for a little over a week. It was getting kinda late as well so for dinner I just whipped up a quick Chevy burger special and called it a night. So this morning I made sure to make some breakfast before the gym because yesterday morning without breakfast it felt like I had zero energy. Today was such a better gym session though I must admit. After the gym I made my protein shake of course to really get my day started. So in terms of like updates I never know what to film in these videos I feel like I'm only supposed to show whenever I'm spending money but then I find myself filming unnecessary b-rolls and all that crazy stuff because I feel like it just doesn't have a story if I'm just oh spend this spend that I don't know maybe I'm doing it right maybe I'm doing it wrong but right now I have to go to the barber because as I said before I'm going out tonight you don't know who you might see you have to be presentable especially as a social media influencer youtuber tech youtuber blah blah I get invited out to a lot of events always meeting new people so I'm just gonna get the quick you know shape up I'm not gonna fade or anything just lining up the edges that's all, and that should be a lot cheaper. So it took me some time, but I finally found parking at the barbershop for a dollar and 50 cents. Today, my haircut was just a shape up, you know, nothing too crazy, the slightest fade ever. So it costed me $25 and I added $3 for the tip. All right, guys, so just got back from the barbershop, got my fresh cut. So and right now, I'm just gonna head to the mall so I could pick up the outfit. The day, the day's off to a good start. Since I'm going out tonight and I had to take some pictures for Mercedes, I decided to cop a jacket. I wasn't sure what jacket or where I would cop this jacket from, but the first stop was at Zara. And Zara, they never disappoint me. So yo, I think I'm about to cop this. 149. So I decided to check out and the jacket ended up costing $168.54 after taxes, which is wild, but it's fine. We'll be all right. <laughs> I was starting to get a little bit hungry now, so my friend and I decided to grab some food nearby. The menu was looking scrumptious, but being as basic as possible, I just went with the classic burger. It's safe. You know, I had a salad to the side, just so I think I'm healthy. That meal ended up coming up to $34.38 after taxes and a tip. It didn't end there though. I had to pay for parking for the time we were chilling at the mall, which came to $25.50. <laughs> The night was still young, so I had to pop out to the Samsung event I was invited to. Thankfully, I got free valet parking and also even got the drinks and meals for free. I guess that's the perks of being an influencer. The event was super chill, met a lot of people. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still not getting used to this lifestyle, but it's great. I'll take it. All right, so I just got back from the event. It was pretty chill, pretty fun, met a lot of people there. Networking, Siobhan. If you guys are in a specific niche or anything, I'd advise you guys to go out and network, meet new people. It's pretty fun. I also got some cake right here. Shout out to them. They gave me, I think it's cake. I don't know. It's kind of cold. But yeah, that was it today. Pretty busy day, but we actually made it through the day. Can't wait to get some sleep. Happy Wednesday, gym check, protein shake, check, shower check. 
have to head to an event, so I skipped breakfast this morning. But this protein shake, as usual, should hold me off. I'm going to an Apple event. They always have snacks there and stuff like that. So I think I have to take this with me because I have to find parking and all that. It might take some time, so we have to get going. Um, are you struggling to find parking? Yeah, I just found um, a underground parking. So I just left the Apple event. It's almost lunchtime right now, 11.38. It's raining outside. A lot of things are going on right now. I've only spent $24 since today for parking. I was there for like one hour and 30 something minutes. I don't know, it's just, it's kind of, it's low key kind of expensive with parking in the city. But right now I'm en route to Canada Post because I have to ship off this AirPods Pro right here. So I did a little giveaway over on Instagram. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, you're missing out because I do be having a lot of giveaways sometimes. So last, last couple of days I did a giveaway um, where someone was lucky enough to win this AirPods Pro, so I'm gonna ship it off right now. Not sure if it's gonna be expensive to ship off. It, it always just depends on if how much it weighs, or sometimes they'll try to evaluate the price of the item. Yo, I just parked in the most sketchiest spot. I don't know if I'll get a ticket, but gotta do what you gotta do, man. So thankfully this Canada Post didn't have a lineup so I could ship off the AirPods quickly. I had to buy a shipping bag though for $2.25 after taxes and the total to ship off the AirPods to the states was $23.06. Come on man. Alright, package shipped off. Quick little ticket check real quick. Do we get a ticket? No, we're good. No tickets. We valid, we didn't get a ticket, bro. Let's go. 745 for me, girl. So after I shipped off the AirPods, I was kind of getting a little bit hungry. So I stopped at this Jamaican spot called The Real Jerk. The food here isn't like bussin' bussin', but it's the best as it gets in this area. I got stewed chicken and rice and peas, which costed me $14.36. I also decided to just stop by the office to eat lunch with my friends and just catch up for a bit. Soup. Soup? Soup? Yo, no, is that Jamaican soup? No. <laughs> What'd you eat, Neil? Knowledge, bro. Knowledge. Food Knowledge. for thought. <laughs> Food for thought. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Um, I've been stuck by the front of my mama. My daddy Jeez. commissary made it to commas. Been willing to die for the shit, nigga. What do you think? That's pretty nice, man. From a Tesla guy. Can I take it for a spin? Yeah. yeah. This feels good. Yeah. What's better, Mercedes or BMW? Please repeat. Probably see it on the screen. Look, it follows where it's supposed to turn. Beamer beeps. That's pretty cool. Yo, that blue, that blue arrow. Check that out. So where it's at. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's four X of turning too, so. No way. It turns crazy. Okay, so our joyride ride came to an end, so I went to charge the car for a bit, and that costed me ten dollars. After that, I linked up with my friends later in the night, so I had to pay for parking, costing me two dollars and twenty-five cents. Initially, I wanted to stay for around an hour, but ended up staying longer than expected, so I had to extend my stay for additional hours costing me six dollars and ninety five cents good morning guys happy Thursday I'm super tired I love not to go to the gym this morning outside is looking good but as I say determination you don't want to do it but you know you have to do it because it's good for you so first start of the day let's hit the gym from the gym not too long ago. I have two meetings I need to be in right now. Just made breakfast. It's like an egg sandwich. It's looking pretty good. Egg sandwich, toasted bread, and of course, we got the Keurig coffee. Got to love it. 
All right, so a little, little dent has been made in the bank account so far. I just bought some things on Amazon. So I bought this surge protector and also a cable management system, which is called a cable raceway. The surge protector was $32.39 and the J Channel raceway was $18.99, totaling up to $54.67. I'm working on a desk setup video for one of my friends. I have all the things that I needed right here. So I just bought that, it should be arriving tomorrow. Right now I'm about to head out, I have to bring my car to get car washed, the Mercedes, and then also I have to Uber, pick up my Tesla because it has been fixed. I think it's gonna be pricey to, you know, to fix that. Um, not looking forward to spending that much money, but hey, having a car, being a new driver, it comes with a lot of learning experience, expensive learning experiences. <laughs> Believe me when I tell you this, no I'm not addicted, but I had to stop at Starbucks just to get some food in my system while I was waiting for my car being washed. Alright, so just got a pumpkin spice latte. Since the first time I tried this y'all, chokehold, you know what I'm saying? That was $5.95 and I got a double smoked bacon sandwich for $5.65 and it's pretty good. No regrets. You gotta get videos? Yeah. It's clean though. Never disappointed with a car wash from these guys. They always just do it good, bro. Like I told I told them like just wash the outside. Then still like did the inside and everything. So much love, I appreciate it. Alright guys, I've been home for a minute now. I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. I've been editing for like the last three three hours or so. Yeah. Just make sure you follow me on Instagram right here. But yeah, I'm about to make some food right now. I'm feeling for some, I don't know, spaghetti meatball or some. Friday was a very chill day for me. After the gym and I had breakfast and everything, I finally had some time to myself to go and pick up my Tesla. I had to call an Uber which ran me $55.76. I know it's an hour drive to Vaughn, but that price is still a pain. All right guys, so finally back at Tesla Life. Here to pick up my car. I'm gonna see how it looks, I'm excited. I haven't, haven't driven it in like, a minute. How long the car been here? I haven't driven it in like what? A week? Yeah, probably, yeah. Boom. Yeah. Oh yes, this looks nice. Oh man, this is clean. Carbon fiber here too. I mean, I've been driving the Benz, but I miss it. So I know I've been whipping the Benz, but I low key missed the Tesla. The price to fix everything today is kind of expensive and I don't think I would add it to this video because it's not like a weekly expense. Let me like break down exactly how much this thing costs. Uh, All right, first off. First, we repair the damage. Yeah. Yeah. These two pieces. We have to rewrap that. Yeah, rewrap it, this two panel. Uh, for repair is 300. Yeah. And the rewrap is 800. And for interior light is 300. Okay. Plus you added the little... Yeah, for this one. Carbon. Door handle. And also power. carbon inside. Carbon fiber inside. It's clean. And they added the interior lights. So the total... Total is uh, 2400. 2400. Yeah. 2400 to fix it. As I said before, I'm not gonna include it in the video because it's not like a weekly expense, but that's some insight to see what certain things you might have to, you know, probably experience if you're getting a, a car and, you know, you meet into an accident, you need to fix stuff. These are some expenses you might see down the road, so I thought I'll include it, but I won't actually include it in the weekly spending of the video. Just to boost the main goal, like, whoa, I'm standing in a pennant with a pressure tank. 
So on my way back home, I decided to stop at Fairview Mall to charge my car. And instead of just sitting in the car waiting for it to charge, I decided to head inside the mall and grab some food. I went to Bourbon Street Grill and picked up, you know, some mints as well in the pharmacy for $5.05. My meal costed me $11.85 plus the water for $2.02. I don't know what happened today, but my car finished charging really fast and it came up to $16.86 way cheaper than gas i don't know how but i also ran out of data so i had to top up for 25 dollars to get me through the rest of the month The weekends for me are like my precious days. This is where I chill, relax, and reset. I did not leave the house today, but I ended up spending some money because of that thing called Amazon. Anyways, I cooked up some dinner, you know what I'm saying? Some chicken, drumsticks, seasoned up, made my rice and everything. I also love cooking on the weekends because the food could last me for three to four days. And trust me when I tell you, this food right here is busting. Toronto it's 10 degrees with fog. Today it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 12 and a low of 4. Some days it'd be like this in Toronto. I'm definitely not leaving the crib today. Get in lads. Come on. Manchester United. We're just the best. Alright guys, since I'm not doing anything today, I figured I'd just show you guys around the EQS, give you guys a little car tour, and I figured the guys over at Mercedes might, you know, appreciate it. So, let me show you guys around this car. And dark here in this underground parking, so let's go outside and show you guys more of like the exterior and stuff like that. Alright guys, now we're outside. This is the exterior of the car. Just look at the front. Got these massive fake grills, but these are like the Mercedes logo. So that's kind of cool. I mean, I wasn't 100% sure how I felt about like the exterior design of the car. I still don't 100% like it. It doesn't look as aggressive. This is the back though. I love how the back design looks. Formatic, you know, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive. EQS 580 looking pretty clean and then this is the side profile so it's a pretty big car take a look at the passenger seat you have full controls on the door but this is what the interior would look like during daytime it's the lights are really bright and you have the entertainment screens are on the back again Show you guys the little touch screen so this is the little tablet i was talking about i'm not sure if it was too dark last time but it's basically a samsung tablet that's fully customized for the eqs or the mercedes ui system I have a little quick look here yeah take your pics thank you all right take, take care. care yeah bye okay. this is the interior quality guys you know what i'm saying you do have a sunroof but you have this thing right here that you could use to open it. These are all haptic feedback buttons. So going into EQ, you can see all your battery stuff, your range, uh, your consumption, stuff like that. The HEPA filter has a massive HEPA filter at the front. It doesn't have a front. So you can see the exterior quality is good. Interior quality is also good, which is nice to see. There's so much features I still haven't figured out about this car, but I do love how big this Apple CarPlay is, guys. Just look how huge it is. Also, this oh, this bamboo finish right here, top quality, I must say. You do get Mercedes headphones, you know what I'm saying? If you want to use these, rock out with them, you can. The steering wheel is another story for another day. There's so many things you could do with the steering wheel. This will you enable like the autopilot feature, you control your volumes. It's not actual, like these buttons are like so, I don't know. Some of them you swipe, some of them you touch. So you just have to get used to it. This is how you control 
the regen breaking with these paddles. I could go from normal to strong recuperation right there. Or if I wanted to feel like a gas car, I could go to like no recuperation at all. So yeah. As you realize, there's no gear shifters. So to drive the car, you have all the gear shifters over here. Park, drive, reverse, all that jazz. So yeah, that's it. Let me put my massage in. And I think that's it for today. I'm gonna go back home, get some sleep, get some rest. This is my off day and I still found time to film a video. <laughs> It's judgment day judgment day is here so we're gonna add it up we're gonna see how much I spent this week it was a pretty hectic week you know what I'm saying but I think I personally thought every expense I made was necessary that that's me before I jump into the numbers also I just want to say that as usual everyone's lifestyle is different you, I'm not trying to say this is how much you're supposed to spend, you know, to sustain a lifestyle here in Toronto. People spend way less. People spend way more. This is just literally how I spend my money throughout a typical week. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully this video is somewhat informative. That's the right word. Informative because I know a lot of you guys watch my videos and stuff like that. I get tons of DMs. How much do you have to pay for rent? Oh, what's the cost of living like in Toronto? I must admit, some things are way more expensive in Toronto for no reason. And especially with having a car, the parking tickets you get, the parking itself, all those stuff add up Monday. <laughs> Monday we spent $184.15. Tuesday, $257.92. Wednesday, I, may, I did my job on Wednesday, $82.00. 87 cents stepping outside Thursday $103.56 Friday $116.54 cents Saturday chill day $13.49 didn't really do anything Sunday zero dollars best day I have rent all right so I didn't add rent last time the rent I have right now I got a really good deal shout out to my landlord if you're watching this so for rent, I pay $581.25 per week, all right? So the reason why this rent is somewhat cheap, especially for a view like this in Toronto, is because my landlord saw my video and it was a private listing. He saw when I was doing my condo hunting videos, he reached out to me and said, let me hook you up with this spot. So I pay for parking, a locker, and all of that. I might be looking to move soon, but I want to be in the same building, but just have a two bedroom. But anyways, insurance, that's something else that's new. $117.25 per week, I have to pay for insurance. And that's basically all my expenses for the week that I could think about adding into this thing. All right, so that's it. Now I have to total and tally up everything. So this came up to $1,503.73. Oh my God, bro. $1,503.73. What do you guys think? Do you think this number right here is something that's normal? I don't know. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Is it that I'm spending too much or Toronto is just expensive? All right, so leave all the comments and feedback down below so I can know what you guys are talking about. And if you have tips on how I could, you know, better spend or manage my money, let me know down below as well. If you want to see more videos like this, smash the like button. Let's try to hit 5,000 likes on this video, guys. New videos coming soon. As always, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out. By the way, my birthday, November the 9th, <laughs> I accept gifts. Peace.